Okay, so we are now back from our break officially. And because of the generous donation of cookies from Promethean, we're going to go ahead and get started with the new force. So we were talking a little bit off stream. I'm going to keep most of the what I call the hot color IDs on this particular character bank. So I think I want to do red, orange, yellow towards the bottom. So in order to accommodate that, I'm going to make the final character slot here yellow because I would like to have a yellow force. Because I actually do not have one at all. Welcome Prismatic Blaze, hope you're doing well. You are here for the creation of a brand new character. If you've not been here before, you <laughs> crazy things are going to happen. I do not usually have a lot of control over this. We go for group votes on everything. So this is where a majority of the run will take place. <laughs> the actual run itself is going to take like three hours, but we're going to be here for like an hour. <laughs> no worries, Blaze. Hopefully you enjoy your dinner. So I guess we'll, we'll do what Hellcleave requested earlier. We're going to hit random once. We're going to see what we get. That kind of works, weirdly. <laughs> I mean, it picked a yellow outfit. We're going for yellow ID. So we'll leave it here for now. We'll go through the face options. Bumblebee looking lad. Glad you're doing well. I mean, honestly, yeah, I'm kind of fine with the default face. I'm just curious what other colors of hair there are. There's always the classic one. So we'll I forget how to rotate the character with default controls. I don't think I have it set up to rotate, sadly. We'll just look at it head on for the most part. I'm just going through the options so chat can see these one at a time. So we have the classic puffy hat for number one. We have the kind of subdued cap with the long, I think, uh, Bouncy thing in the back. We got the spiky, I'm too cool for you, number three. Number four is I am a JRP, JRPG protagonist with the spiky hair plus bandana. I think it's control. Thank you. I don't think I have that set up properly on my controller. We can angle it a little more. Yeah, there's the single thing I was talking about before. Then we have the split hat. It kind of reminds me of, uh, is his name Jinx from the other one? Boy Dana, oh no. Are we making Boy Dana? We could. We got the classic fro, which is honestly one of my favorites. I put that on every character. I just love the earrings plus the puffy hair. It's just so ridiculous. Then we got kind of a more normalized hat. Looks more like a healer hat kind of thing. We got the cool shades. This is the alternate I'm too cool for you. And then we got the double puffball classic. I don't think I've ever made a character with this one. So if chat wants this one, technically we could do this. <laughs> we, could, we could rename the character from Lemon to Boy Donna. Or Lemon Donna. Does chat like the hair color of the character? Right now it's blue. And of course, you can always veto. So if, you, if you're not sure and you'd rather see outfit changes, just let us know. See, I don't think I have ever done the bandana combo, even in GameCube. So we got red, green, blue. We'll leave it for now. I'm not seeing any comments from chat. I want to see what other outfits there are. We do have the bumblebee. I guess the Bumblebee is actually kind of nice, but we'll go through the colors one by one. So we're doing it for a yellow ID character. Yeah, I think sometimes I do this one, number six on the top row. I'm doing yellow ID stuff. That one we're already using. That's a classic orange ID for sure. But I have a feeling based off of what I'm looking at here, we might go for the Bumblebee. Although, to be honest, I guess in the future if I ever make another blue ID force, I kind of like the headband color plus the outfit there. But yeah, I think we might be sticking with that costume if I had to guess based on what Chad is saying. Oh, did Chad want to change the skin color? I forgot to ask. I always forget to ask. I don't have any preferences. So if Chad wants us to go from super pasty to darker, just let us know. Like, this one feels like this character should be in the sun a bit more. Usually I go for, like, a two or a three. 
<laughs> this one I feel like we're like permanently indoors. <laughs> no, no sun allowed. Number two. Yeah, I was like, I kind of like seeing a little more color with them. And I think we have a couple of darker characters, which is always nice. I don't know if that changes. I think it changes their face a little bit. Yeah, you still got the wall, Luigi. Yeah, like, I think this one was green, I want to say, for the first face. Just to show off for people that haven't seen it before. So if we do this, for example, it changes the colors. Hmm. I'll have to keep that in mind for the future. I kind of like that color combo. But anyway, we'll uh, change it back to this face. We look more boyish and innocent with that one. So if we're going to go for Boy Donna, this is a pretty good... Pretty good setup so far. Is there anything chat wants to see tweaked? Do we want to change costume, hair color? Because so far I'm not seeing a lot of complaints about what we're seeing. We haven't changed the proportions either. But if chat is happy with the outfit, hair color. Uh oh, what does Hellcleave want? We're going to zoom in. Right now it's kind of bluish. It doesn't match our outfit in any way. Some people like, some people don't like. Make it a blonde. I think how to get the right blondes. My brain is not thinking about how to make blondes. It's, it's kind of like a, a lighter color. One second. I'm gonna see if I can find like a good value for a blonde, like in RGB. Yeah, it's like it, like it needs a little bit of blue. Yeah, it's kind of like if it's going for blonde, it would be kind of like if I wanted it paler, I need a little bit of blue. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. It depends on how like bright I want it to be. That's what I was thinking about. <laughs> My brain was trying to do color theory and it was like it kind of understood. I think red has to be higher than green or else it ends up kind of weird. But something like this potentially. I can make it match a little closer to our outfit. Our outfit's kind of like this color-ish. If chat wants it look, looking somewhat similar. Because you can see like the dark spikes of the hair kind of look like the dark parts of the outfit if chat wants. Because otherwise this looks a little weird. Yeah. It's just a little teeny bit. Just like little hints. What does Chat think of that? Actually, let me. I think that's not bad. I think I'll now touch it again. Looks good though. <clears throat> yeah, I was trying to match it a little closer to our yellows of the outfit. Without it being orange. Okay, so we got our hair. I'm assuming chat loves the bumblebee. So we're gonna keep the bumblebee, presumably. Bumblebee is also not a bad name for the character. So we so we have some names floating. We have Lemon, Bumblebee, Boydana. Those are the names I've heard so far. Does chat want to change her proportions? Right now we're really short. Which kind of makes sense for Boydana, honestly. So if we leave it like that, it, it pretty much... <laughs> Pretty much don't have to touch anything. But if chat wants uh, some differences, let me know here. Give them a little rotate. I do not have a single short phone Newman. I usually, they usually end up tall or fat and like medium height. <laughs> that's, that's how pretty much all of them have gone so far. Keep it. Okay, we'll keep it. So now it's down to character name. What would chat like to call their creation? We're going to pause and unpause Sonic Boom to make sure it doesn't freak out on us. Music's getting all excited.
Yeah, we ha we always usually for playing a Suikoden game or equivalency game, we usually have things like Mandana, Boy Donna, Blue Donna. Still down for Boy Donna? Yeah, we can call him Boy Donna. He lives on forever. I have no idea what ID this will give us. It would be funny if it's yellow. I feel like, Chad, if it's yellow, it's fate. <laughs> Let's see what we get, though. Purple? Oh, purple doesn't make sense. Okay, we're gonna have to mod sec ID that. Okay, so we're gonna very briefly... We're gonna swap some items around, and then we're gonna get people into multiplayer. Because I have to exchange my items at least once. So I'm gonna go to block two. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Mod, sec ID, yellow, boss. Or, is that not correct? Is it just that? Why didn't that work? Okay, that's fine. We'll think about it later. We'll fix it later. Chat will correct my spelling. I must have spelled something wrong. But we're going to type in random. I thought it was yellow bows. <laughs> now, now I'm going to go look up the color. Yeah, it is yellow boz. B-O-Z-E. It's not quite booze. It's missing an O. I must have typoed it and not realized it. Alright, we're going to do this because this is going to drive me wild as we go through this. Bank. Lobby. Yellow bozo. I mean, you're not wrong. It basically happened there. Yeah, I must have just typed it wrong the first time. Alright, so we're going to go through. We're going to get our 10 luck material. The rest will be all mine material. We're going to gather all these out of the bank. And then he needs, since I'm down here, let's grab the cookies. We'll just grab like 30. It should be good enough. Uh, he needs to eat these. In PSO without the booze, pretty much. He's getting smarter, chat. He's got the power to go even further beyond. And luck material, so I don't have to worry about that later. Alright. So we're gonna go back to here. We're gonna scroll. There should be frame. We need the frame. We're gonna get the DS wand. We're gonna go ahead and get some heavenly mines. We're gonna get the heavenly HPs. I should have Adip and Vieta one spares. We're gonna worry about later. Right now we're just gonna equip this. Did I not? Okay, he's just messing with me. Let's get rid of the junk in our inventory. We don't need these. We need this for learning purposes. And we can equip the wand now. And then we're gonna quit out. Can't type today. But first I'm gonna slash lobby, because I wanna see if I could mod sec ID to save ourselves a little bit of time. Try this again. Mod sec ID yellow boss. I must have just typed it wrong the first time. So we're gonna quit. We need to get more mine stuff. And then we're gonna learn our techniques, and then we're gonna equip whatever we need. So eventually we'll switch over to add up that higher levels. So we just grab those early, and then we'll have like double heavenly HPs, add up speed and one. Depending on what we're doing. So that way, if I come back into this character, we can transfer over the mine materials she's been holding into our share bank. And then I can immediately start a cookie quest. So get ready, team. I'm going to make the multiplayer as soon as we're done with this. So that's your final call for those that were we talked about off stream. We're going to join. This character's just got to quickly transfer and we'll get started. So yeah, she's got all the mine material we need. This is fine. 
could technically give him a uh, TP material if I want, but that's just... I don't think like it's needed. Just gonna transfer 99 in there, don't mind me. And I think that's all I need to do. I don't think he needs anything else. We're gonna do C-Bank 6. Switch characters. I eventually have to set up my controls. So the beginning portion will be being carried by chat as I set techniques up. But essentially all I need on my front button is Gafoe, Resta, Moon Atomizer. I can slowly slot in tries as we play. But with that wand plus four heavenly minds plus the remainder of these materials, I should be able to learn nearly every technique in one shot. And if not, I can level almost instantly anyway, so it doesn't matter. It, it should be good enough. So we're gonna go make the game. Call this one Ziggy Cookie. We'll do normal, normal, normal. Game is up. So give chant that is looking to join in with their level ones. I believe it was Tiggy, Helcleave, and Dengo. So we're gonna get rid of our Mumano mates, unless we really need them. We really need our mine materials here. So we had 99, so I'm just gonna grab whatever. I'm literally just gonna grab all of them. This is faster to menu that way. And then we also need our Rappy, actually. That way we can do it. No worries if you partially level them. So we're already at 858. So this should guarantee that I can use everything. Thank you, Rappy Mac. Look at that TP chat. Look at that starting TP total. What a disgusting amount. So anyway, we're just gonna go... I can't use Rebarda. I'm off by six. That is so sad. We learn everything else, though. Want to use three cookies? Sure, if you would like help leave. Otherwise, I'm going to use some. We're going to put these back. I don't have my V to one. Thought I took that. Oh, because I ran out of room earlier. So we're going to get the V to one double add up now. We don't need this much on us. We mostly just need to save TP, but not by like a huge margin. Should be good enough. We're going to put away our Heavenly Minds because I don't need Rebarda for a while. Should be fine. I'm not going to bother with fluids because if chat remembers from last time, I should basically just instantly get it. The only thing I need is Gafoe Merge, which I'll level into. Sorry, that's one of the more things that I need. Uh, Gafoe Merge, where are you? Hi. Huh. Everything else should be fine. So if I ever get hit, I die. We're going to customize our basic technique to be Gafoe. Rest, uh, nothing? I prefer nothing there, honestly. So everybody has to get a little closer. I'll set up my other techniques later. Oh, chance walking away. Okay, that gives me some time to set up the techniques. Uh, one, two, three, four. So it'd be one, two, three, four. And it would be four. Five, six, seven, eight. I think for now should be good enough. Oh, and then I could do nine, zero. Yeah, that should be everything. Uh, I'm able to level if you're AFK, but we have to start the quest. We have to start the quest, though. <clears throat> Once the quest is started, it should be fun. Okay. We'll do desert. <laughs> I'm surrounded by big, big clunky boys. Okay, I use one of my cookies. That's fine. So watch this stupidity. We'll get Tiki caught up, I think. Just need a couple of grants, and we should be good here. This XP is very silly. 
Ooh, that that level up timely HP. What timely HP? If I ever get hit, I'm dead. Just FYI, I'm pretty sure. We're gonna debuff. Oh, I need to level up the team. That should help. Do I not have Razant? Just realized that. I need that eventually. I thought I did. I know I don't have her Barda yet. That level up is intense. Yeah, since Gafoe's gonna be kill stealing, I'm basically just gonna power level for a little bit. Rip these enemies. I think Tiggy's now here. Pretty close in level. So I'm gonna basically eclipse people in level, and that's fine. That's why we're gonna use another cookie. Whew. Why, hello there, HP. See, I must have missed a Razond. So if chat has a spare one, let me know. It could be any level, I don't care. I don't think I got it. I thought I did earlier, but maybe not. Double checking. Yeah, I definitely don't have it. I could get away with this quest without needing it for a little bit, but I'll need it eventually for sure. And again, because I'm kill stealing everything, my XP is just going to be insane, honestly. <laughs> Solo Force is just very silly. But hey, we'll have our first pretty much multiplayer level up with this. Because I think before I mostly did solo. So it'll be fun getting everybody up there. These Rappies are so effed. You know what the best part is? Where my good Bowie merge now? <laughs> like, look at this. Get melted. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> what a quest. Look at this XP chat. Photon drops? Disgusting. Oh, I got hit. But don't worry, I leveled up. It's like using Resta. It's very similar. Rip these enemies, for sure. So we didn't quite level to 20. Got pretty close, though. 858. I don't know how much these guys are worth. Find out though. B22. We do another one. We'll play a little fast and loose with the cookies. How's that? Damn, yeah, I'm just gonna quit out. I don't really care about the money. Sure, we'll we'll bring in another cookie for the sake of progress. Yeah, so if anybody has a spare Razan, let me know. I apparently did not have a level 29 Razan, or I just missed it and I rebarded twice. Because I remember putting away a rebarda earlier. I can also double check. I need it more for very hard mode. I don't need it, like, literally right now. But if you have it, you got it. It's appreciated. It's gonna do ultimate for a second there. I don't know what I was thinking. So yeah, we'll go until everybody hits 20, and then we'll quit out of the cookie quest. Nice, nice. No worries. I think, Hellcleave, when we go to switch between uh, normal and hard mode, I'll pause a little bit, give you some time to check it, and then if you just hand it, we should be good. I think... Okay, I use the cookie. I think I could use the Rabarda soon. Yeah, even without the other things equipped. So I should be good there. Yeah, this should just be monstrous. Okay, I hit 20. We'll keep going until the team hits 20. I mean, technically we could still get ad slots in here. I don't mind grinding it out for like random ad slots or whatever. It's not like it's episode two normal where there's like literally nothing. 
Just feel sad having played it. Watching the team hit all 19s. You'll dip at 20. I'm gonna make sure. I, I'm gonna wait for Tiki to hit 20. I'm not gonna dip until then. Rip the Mercis. I hit 21. The next fee's still insane, so it's like whatever. Yeah, I know Tiki's a little further. Oh, everybody hit it. I'm gonna pick up materials because it's funny. All right, dipping out. I'm gonna quit the game. We'll give Hellcleave a minute or so, so that way we don't touch our character timer. We can look at the character timer as we wait, though. I just don't want to play the character while we're in between. So he can help get a Razond. And then I should be good. My Rabarda I should be able to use by the time I'm like midway through. So we'll give Hellcleave a minute or so. So let's check our progress. So we hit 21 in less than 12 minutes. So we had three minutes minimum of setup because it was three minutes when we went there. More likely four minutes. So in about eight minutes, <laughs> we left normal mode. So we're doing pretty good there. So we'll just pause here just a little bit so we don't touch the character timer. Because I thought I already did it there. So that's player error. So technically, if I had remembered to do that, this wouldn't be a thing. We would be pausing right now. Yeah, comparatively, we have our original go-to character, Valentine, going to uh, 130 in less than six and a half hours. What a monster. Eventually, we'll do some hot stuff. We'll have orange ID at some point in here. Otherwise, I could swap into my last character bank just to double check. Let me look at my character viewer since we're here. Razond. Do I actually not have a Razond 29? I might actually not have one. Yeah, I actually don't have one. I have a Razond 28. That's it. Maybe that's why I missed it. And that is in my character bank for my F Omar. So surprisingly, I have not come across... Because I, I never give up Razons when I see them. But I guess I don't have any more. Yeah, I literally don't have any Razons. That's a shame. I'm going to have to get more. Yeah, I have one Razon 28, I think, in my bank. That's it. Yeah, my techie character has it. So if, if we're really desperate... Okay, you have it in shared. Perfect. I'll go ahead and switch in then. <laughs> I was looking through it, so I was like, wow, I really just never found one. I have like 20, 20, uh, like Rabardas and all those other things, but not as useful there. Okay. So let's go ahead and make the game. Make it in hard mode. I remember we did waste a cookie. Last time I remember, I forgot to change the difficulty. I believe we had a cookie down. <laughs> One of those attempts. So we'll count that. That's fine. Yeah, you'll get it at the end. That makes sense. I was thinking I was about to say the same thing because I'm like, I don't think I technically need it right now. I think as long as chat can kill the Goron detonators, I don't really care. And I'm already set up to be good to go. Look at this damage. So anyway, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be hard carrying. Jack can help with the slicers here though for sure. Get out of here, Gertibulu. Yeah, Zeus. Need to go away. Cool. Piggy died. Oh no. Chat brought Moon Atomizers, fortunately. I did not. I do I think I've reversed a Ryuker. So if I'm really desperate, I could try to revive the team. Raffy Beak. Don't need those. Oh, I got lasered. Rip me. laser. I might need to switch into Heavenly HP to survive that. Okay, let's do that. Definitely need to debuff them. Okay, we should be good now. Yeah, I set up my buttons mostly correct. I just gotta fix Gazond. Did the music seriously pause? Sonic Boom, please. Oh, this is a very quiet part of the song. That's fair, I guess. Guess I'll pick up the Rappy Beak. I believe Hellcleave chastised me last time for not picking them up. 
<laughs> I get their, their trade fodder, I believe, as it was put. Cherry found special weapon. Oh, I gotta do show web. Or whatever it's called later. I love that if you kill fast enough, you just never need to bring fluids until very hard mode. What a strat. So again, we're using basically perfect input Gafoe to make sure that we stack as much damage as possible. Because with Gafoe merge and Phonuman MST and my Rappi, I kill basically everything prior to very hard mode nearly instantly. Because most things have really terrible resistances. Like 45 resistance would be like what they normally would have if they're weak to it in the higher difficulties. So having that just in general is kind of bonkers. Give up their damage, the team doesn't die. And the downside without Razan, I don't stun lock here, but I can make up for it with good positioning. Another level up, love it. You see that? I almost insta kill the Baristas with two Gafoes. That's so disgusting. What a character. Tiki being very supportive here. Grip Tiki. Need to assign revive, I think. I think that's the only thing I'm really missing. Not finding all these special weapons. For me, it's just forever a mystery. Yeah, like even 80 fire resist is fine for me. I'll just keep gafoing. So I can pick up some tri fluids while I'm here. That'll help me for the next area when I level a little slower. Look at this monstrous damage. Goodbye. You're not reaching me. I'm not debuffing. Get out of here. Watch my stats hit the stratosphere. Goodbye, satellite lizards. <laughs> this is just an absolute massacre. I mean, if you if you if you had any questions about if you got more XP with kills, I think the Gafoe stack here says all you need to know. Let's use Mono Mate here. I don't die. It'd be nice. Let the team deal with the Goron Detonator. It's not my forte. Instantly dead. Love to see it. Oh, that hurt. Uh, I'm gonna rest it here. So we need to get out of the center, because we know the Gertaboolers are there. Team protecting me. Thank you, team. I mean, honestly, they take decent zap damage. <laughs> Just do that. So we're gonna pick up some Tri-Fluids, because that's actually important for later. And I will take some time to pick up the Power Materials and the Rappi's Beak. So we're gonna get some diamates for later. Our first scape doll, which is good. Need that for later. A couple more dye fluids for safety. And then I think I'm gonna go back with Hellcleave to the main bank. Don't need these. I'm gonna put this away. So I don't need the heavenly mines right now or the DS one. See Hellcleave doing a dance. Three cookies. Razond. How far am I from using Razond out of curiosity? Then 30, right? Alright, so I might need a Heavenly Mind. Fine. Use both. The wand away. No longer need the wand. Okay, so we're gonna quit out. Slash lobby. So we got another hard mode one. Thank you, Hopefully. <laughs> I love the dances in the lobby. I guess I can pause and restart the music to make sure it doesn't pause later. I think that's the, the pro level tip. 
if you don't want YouTube to pause your soundtrack as you're power leveling. So yeah, we got double double out of V801 heavenly HP. I'm pretty much set for whatever I need to do here. This was hard mode, right? I just want to make sure. Okay. Now we'll have to fact check me in real time. I kind of tune out sometimes when I'm making games. We'll find out very shortly, I guess. We'll see if it'll be a rip cookie scenario. That looks right. Yeah, that looks right. If they don't die instantly, that looks right. <laughs> so funny enough, the starting position of Gafoe is good enough for this. Only different lights, I'm not 195 Pony Men. It's okay. Pony Men's so strong, they can carry at level 1. <laughs> They're like, listen. Listen, they're like, I'm gonna carry you to very hard, and then the rest of the team, you gotta carry me through very hard. Oh, Pazuzu? Really? Cameo p appearance? Hello, Pazuzu. What is your weakness, even? Ice or whatever? Nice level up. Photon Crystal. Wanna get that later. <laughs> chat going for it immediately. I do not blame you, chat. That's a good pickup. Love Dangotron. That's a good name. Welcome, Chris. So we, we had a very generous donation of cookies, if you're wondering what's happening, Chris. We ended up with, from two cookies, Chris, we ended up at 55. So we are power leveling. We're power leveling our brains out right now. Because it, it just switched to XP week earlier. So thank you again, Promethean. This power level is sponsored by Promethean Incorporated. And as you can see, um, murder is happening. I like that Gafoe is actually not a bad slot to spam it this way, too, by default. It's not intended by them, for sure. Like, they just did basics into intermediate. But from my standpoint, I'm happy. That's what I needed to do. So it's kind of funny we're just finding photon crystals and stuff. Like, legitimate items, so I got bodied. And I like putting Gafoe on the left button there, so that way I can use it while getting up. And then while I'm casting, I can switch back to my quick menu. The only thing I need to correct is one spell. The next time we have kind of a downtime. Like, this might be a good downtime. Oh, angry, angry fists with 35 hit? What? That's hilarious. It's actually hilarious. What a drop. There we go. Now I can actually see item names I'll pick up. The angriest of fists, Chad. Hold on, let me go pick it up. Boom Moon Atomizer, that'll be useful for later. So again, we'll kind of like sniff out where these items are. It's a couple dye fluids I could pick up to avoid going back to the shop later. So like I could get a couple dye fluids here. Get the Moon Atomizer now. Get another Dye Fluid now. So that way we have at least some options to revive our team members. And we at least have five Dye Fluids from nothing. That's pretty good. I think I would agree. Without having gone to the shop, we got our items. Now level 38. The, the Foey life is monstrous. Look at this. Oh. Oh, I got bodied. Time to heal, time to heal, time to debuff. There we go. Tell him to get off me. Goodbye, these Marissas. So we just hit 39. Make sure to immediately debuff. If we don't debuff, we take big damage. I'm sorry, did I find a 40 hit baton in hard food? <laughs> Why? Why am I finding better hit percentage in hard mode, chat? Hold on. I'm gonna write a very stern complaint. <laughs> Why? I know it's a lower tier item, but still, like, this is stupid. Isn't it supposed to be easier to get them an ultimate? What happened to the hit percentage ratio? It lied to me, chat. Okay, and that's why we needed Razan. 
difficulty is a lie. I mean, you're not wrong. I think we talked about this on stream before, but my 45 hit Jaya came from blue ID, I'm pretty sure. Two of my 35 hits definitely came from blue ID very hard mode specifically. Storm on Indra, that's funny. Um, I think I'm going to pick up this last die fluid and I'm just going to exit. So I'm just making sure I'm stocked. And I see one more Moon Atomizer, so I'm going to do that and then reset. So I have two safety revives for the team. We'll do another one. So yeah, I'm back up to like eight fluids, four tries, I think. And I escaped all. So I have some good safety strats. I have one Heavenly HP to survive. And double Adip gives me some defense, but more importantly, it gives me better scaling. So I basically don't need TP until like... Probably level 60-ish, if I had to guess. So we'll, we'll we'll burn another cookie for the sake of speed. Give chat a moment or so to collect themselves. Ziggy. Ing. Hard mode. There. Hopefully you're doing well, Chris. Yeah, see that we're at seven die fluids. I can also pop in more heavenly HPs if I want to survive. So like early, early, uh, very hard mode, I might go triple heavenlies. Just to survive, and then once my HP balances out a little more, we'll switch it up. Oh yeah, Chris, earlier we got a double Marissa A's. Like two Marissa A's. Oh, sorry you didn't sleep well. I know, we got them in the same wave, too. Ooh, die fluid. Yeah, I know. What? <laughs> oh no, when you put the Marissa quadruple A, I was thinking of the, uh... Photon not Photon Claw. I was thinking of, uh, the quadruple A gaming of, uh, Skull and Crossbones for a moment. That- that'll date the video real hard later. Gonna heal the team for sure there. So I've hit level 40, but we're gonna go until the team is ready. I see another trifluid, which is excellent, because I need to switch out of adepts, I think. Somebody gave triple trifluids, that's disgusting. Thank you, team. Well, that saves me a lot of time. It's been mostly like background music. Listening to the soundtrack. I haven't heard anything that really screams to me like Sonic yet. Thank you, Dangotron. Oh, another Pazuzu. Pazuzu, you need to die for our sins. I think it's. Oh, it's Thunder. You're weak to Thunder. I sadly did not get a Photon Crystal from that. Maybe the team did. Nice. We just need Dangotron to level, and then we'll bail. Nice. Everybody but me got Photon Crystal, but that's fine. Alright, so let's bail. Actually, let's get a little teeny bit more XP, and then we'll bail. I think it's like a rappy wait, yeah. When we see, uh, we'll go one more wave. I think this will be fast enough. It should be fine. Yeah. Alright, let's bail. I think the next wave is not worth doing gonna bail that way we got team a little extra xp what sonic game is this music even from that's a good question the full title of the game is sonic boom rise of lyric again none of it feels sonic-y to me <laughs> poor chris we we got through the olympics though So I managed to hit level 42. We got the team a little extra XP. Those extra levels might matter. Danny Elfman soundtrack, like I said. Oh, is that what it means? All background music? I now understand. You know what? I'm not going to bother fixing that game name. We got things to do. Chat will find it. I believe in you. The most generic movie music ever. Damn, that's a burn. It's kind of true, though. It's 
So there we go. Already very hard mode. It's been about 45 minutes since character creation. And by 45 minutes, I actually mean start of stream of recording. So with character creation, it's been less than an hour so far. Very normal level ups. Oh, I forgot to run of these into Heavenly, I think, to survive. So I'm at 450 health. I'm hoping this is good enough to survive. We'll see. So I'm going to get away without an Adept here. And again, I have one Adept to kind of slow down our TP usage. Okay, that was a good call. The double Heavenly let me survive that. Single Heavenly is still good enough, but again, we got some time. Fortunately, we don't have to worry about Dwarf on set damage, which is another big issue. Potentially with the run. There's our level up for more TP. And again, more TP equals more damage equals less need for potentially HPs. Rip Yowies. Nice level up. Again, more damage, more total TP. That's also the important thing too. More total TP is huge. Even if it's just like a little bit at a time. Nice try, Fluid. Rip these Marissas, get wrecked. Dive on this. <laughs> Alright, Chang, get get granced, idiot. Although as we learned earlier, we did get hard dodged by the pan arms when he dodged the freeze trap by splitting. That that was that was next level gameplay. I got outplayed genuinely. All right, Chad. I just I just have to take the L on that one. He's just better than me. I'm like, you got it. Yeah, maybe with this much TP, we can afford another adept. And we're slowly getting more HP defense. I think I don't want to dip below 400. I don't need that many more before I can switch back to double adept. So if I take 150 there, I probably take 350 on a crit. So yeah, a couple more and I'll consider switching back. Nice. And again, Adip will provide little bits of defense. That's not the worst. Maybe it's almost safe to swap into double adept. We're getting close. A little extra defense helps. I need to figure out where Reverser is on that list. I did that, I'm like, I have no idea where it is on standard. I'm not played with it on standard in eons. I thought it was right next to Ryuker, because that would have made sense. Oh, it's like midway in the list. That's gross. <laughs> right, chat? Like, ew. Why is it there? Well, Grants is there. Goodbye. Nice. So maybe at level 50 I'll swap out. Because I'll have 390 HP. And then I'll have some defense. Oh, I could learn Gabarda chat. Oh boy! Gabarda's my favorite! Event egg, nice. I got slap, that's fine. 
Let's level up. Yeah, there's just more defense to survive the hits, more damage. So possibly when I'm literally at 500, I'll use it just in case I get crit. Mostly what I'm worried about. And then the Adip will secure a little extra damage. It's always nice. Yeah, I gotta get out of the middle. Like, see, that would have put me at 63. But I don't even know if that was a crit. Might not have been a crit. Because that was before they got debuffed. So I gotta be careful. To lure both of them. Watch them explode. Blink and they disappear. That is kind of the nice thing. Is that for cast leveling up, as a reminder, you don't have any penalty to demons, so feel free to do whatever you want. Heaven Striker Coats, nice. I'm gonna pick up these materials. Uh, there's another item I want in here somewhere. No. Sort of. Now, where's the event egg in this absolute chaos? Oh, there it is. That I do want. We're gonna go ahead and learn Gabarda, because it's funny. But let's go ahead and quit. So I guess I could swap into Adip now. I think I got enough HP. With a tiny bit more defense, I should be fine. We'll do a quick check in terms of how fast we are with this. 34 minutes, level 48. So we're still out, we're outpacing and level the timers. So that's a good sign. That seems fair. So four, Ziggy, King, very hard mode. Swift one of the heavenlies for an addict. It should be like barely enough. Hope team's not close enough. There we go. See, I'll hit 400, I think, before the Grand Dinator spawns. I think with the extra defense, this should be fine. So I could eventually just go back to more Heavenly Mines if I really wanted to, technically. But I think double add-up's better. Double add if you eat a one, one heavenly. Should be good enough. These guys are just getting absolutely massacred. We'll Zalore this. Rants a couple times. Nice level up. So again, we should be around 400 health by the time we see a Gordon Detonator. Not to mention extra defense. So I'm, I'm feeling pretty good. Like, I think a non-debuff Goron Detonator crit can kill me. It does do a lot of damage. But that's about it. I'm out of laser range of Zoo, which is good. I was gonna say, secretly, all, all of them are weak to Gafoe. They just don't know it yet. So hopefully, Chris, you like the look and feel of Boy Donna. Boy Donna lives on in another game. More defense, always nice. Absolutely monstrous. Very Bumblebee. Yeah, we were, I think Bumblebee was a contender. We had Bumblebee, Lemon, and then Boy Donna was there. Boy Donna says, what is that? That seems accurate. I'm glad he lives on. There we go. He escaped from Suikoden 4, apparently. Get rid of- Oh, I got bought in. Okay, we survived the hit, that's all that matters. 
Nice, didn't even need to heal. Okay, so I think I'm past the point where I'm worried about my HP. I think with the Adept and our other level ups, we should be good. So now we just gotta focus on damage, which Adept gives a little bit of, to be fair. See that? Look, we survived. That's all that matters. <laughs> zaps here and there to speed it up. Goodbye. Chat already in the low 50s for the most part. We'll catch up here, I think. Speaking of which. Another Trifluid. Don't need those yet. As I said before, I think around 60 might be the first time I have to use a Fluid. So, like, I have a long, long time to go pick them up. Okay, if I stay in the middle, I think I could get all the Rappies instantly. So, if we, we all stick together, I think we could burst the Rappies. Yeah, pretty much. Plus, it puts us in a good position for the Gorons here, which is why I like staying here. Look at that damage. Look at the intense, fast menuing chat. Probably gonna get hit here, but there's not much I could do about it. Oh, chat saved me, actually. Good job, chat. I was just gonna take in the face. I was in the I'm not dodging territory. 410 health, not bad. And again, that means our fireball just keeps doing a little more, and a little more, and a little more. Oh, Dango died. Rip Dango. So I need to put a thing for reviving with Moon Atomizer. I think that's all I really need. The next time I'm at Customize, I'll have to fix it. I'm gonna zap you out of existence real quick. Well, we didn't die. That's the important thing. We didn't die. Debuff. Debuff. Zaps. Run away, run away, run away. Put a couple zaps in there maybe to stunlock them. Already dead. HP material. Where's that luck material? Here somewhere. No. Another tri fluid. Is it here? Gotta be kidding me. Is it like this one? No. Where, wait, where is the luck material? Unless it's like wedged in here. I'm confused. Oh, it's overlapped with another dot. Oh, that's stupid. That's why I didn't see it. Oh, that, that, that is a sneaky one. That was literally wedged with the other one. Uh, let's drop this. So we're gonna hold on to materials, and then we're just gonna quit out. So we're getting more XP per second than uh, anything we did in Ultimate <laughs> the last week. Seems about right. So we're almost at an hour mark total, including character creation. He's existed for 41 minutes. He's level 53. He's doing a chat. He's staying above time spent. Although I have a feeling it's going to be like an hour 10 or an hour 20 in game time. Let me take a nice little photo. Game is up. One, three, two, four. Okay. That way I can revive people quickly. Well, Milk Turk, hope you're doing well. Read what Supersonic it says in a moment. Instead of doing all this, you get your LOD ult. You could just be using Mind Hunt for Galantine. I don't mind. Uh, it's more I want to have a yellow ID anyway. Team wanted to level ults anyway. It's just XP week. I 
I've been long overdue for yellow ID anyway. I mean, technically I could do green ID hunts for Galatine. It's not like I can't do it. I just don't want to. This would give me incentive to play. Oh, do this. What are the most important section IDs? That's a hard question to answer. What what character classes are you looking to play? And I can answer that question. Because for me, you play as like maybe five of them, maybe four if you're not doing Ranger. Omar and Ramarl. Um. Well, the way I see it, I like pink ID for gathering all the initial force stuff, but it's not necessarily a strong end game ID thing kind of thing. You need at least one ID if you're looking to do self find hunts to get adepts. But generally speaking, if you're talking about true late game, most of true late game is finding items that need like high rolls to be useful. So things like you'll probably be hunting potentially for things like Slicer Fanatic with good hit, or if you're playing Ranger, you're going to be doing Spread Needles, Cannon Rouges, Frozen Shooters, uh, Excalibur. Those are the kinds of things with uh, potentially good stats that you're going to hunt on your own. It helps if the character you're leveling is an ID that can do something in TTF. So for example, the Ranger is really good at episode 1 and 2, and still solid in episode 4, but needs a little boost. So generally things like green ID is pretty good, for example, if you're looking for generic ones. I like purple for Ranger, because it gets a uh, V502 and stuff like that. But sadly it doesn't get a uh, red ring. So I feel like you'll need a character class that can eventually do red ring since you would probably prefer to roll it with stats than to purchase it. Purple ID technically also opens up options if you're doing self-bound stuff for Psycho Wand, but generally speaking, I've seen people have a little more luck with the uh, blue ID, Del Beaters, for example. So I would kind of split it down into... figure out for each of your characters what they hunt well, like, for example, Fomar is pretty good at episode 1 and is decent at episode 4 kind of things. Because he could take advantage of his higher than normal ATP for Bull Op. Uh, he could get things like Excalibur decently well. The problem is more he requires a little bit of setup. So if he doesn't have like other support items that you get through trades, like Heavenly Arms, for example, or you don't have like Adeps, for example, to potentially give them that little bit of ATA boost, and you're talking about like a self-found character versus trading, uh, you might struggle a little bit with them. So for me, I usually would recommend a minimum of three IDs. Usually you have kind of like your quote unquote red ring guarantee I can do every boss in episode one as fast as possible. Not that the character wants to use it, it's the character is efficient at it. So like for example, you're gonna have a lot more fun of a time potentially with like Ranger into episode one boss than a force. So like Ramarl would be fast. Ramar is decently fast with gear. <laughs> if you're talking about really high end, technically Humar. But you just want to make sure you're not doing like, oh, I want to solo hunts, but I made my solo hunt episode for, you know, Humar Pink ID or something like that. You want to make sure that the, the character class lines up to what they hunt the most. So, for example, if you're going to say, like, I want to play the Fomar, but I don't actually like his ATP, then I would just make sure that your actual hunts for that ID are something you could do with just MST. And a lot of the times... Episode 4 doesn't, like, hard require it. You could get away with some demons. And things like Slicer Fanatic are pretty good. But ideally, if you're doing things like Bull Op, for example, even just in, like, TTF, you're going to need, like, a high ATP weapon, like Galatine, Excalibur, something like that to kill them quickly. So it's kind of like that Catch-22. Like, in order to do hunts well, you need to get the item. But some characters, in order to do well in the hunts, need another character to give them the boost in order to then do those hunts. So that's kind of the downside of playing with like limited number of characters. You will find that there are like several really core items that 
are very easy to get through trades potentially like an all zeroed heaven striker or like a heavenly battle for your first character but like can the character hunt those weapons and armor well is generally not the same thing because i see that mistake a lot for people that are just looking at the charts and going like oh i like all these therefore i'm good at hunting it but that's not necessarily true with your character you can mitigate that to some extent by just getting like really solid uh charge items for example on rangers and hunters like your charge vulcans and stuff like that i think i need these i just want to be very careful with that question because definitely it also depends if you're doing trading versus self-bound because some characters have a lot of trouble getting like heavenly battles like red id is like super brain dead easy to get heavenly battle and that potentially could be like your cannon rouge plus heaven striker plus other kind of build but they might not collectively with the number of characters you have be the right choice because i do think being able to get like a yashmina or all those really good vulcans and all those things are really strong purple id choices and i would rather for example play raw moral in solo in tower over a lot of the other choices especially when starting off so from that perspective that's just kind of how i view it it's not saying you can't do it like a, a really optimized character by all means can stomp through tower but like i would not want to play like a human character for example or usually for the most part hunters into tower unless i am like seriously kitted out hue cast or something like that like that's kind of my thought process when we go through those so you'll probably find that during like downtime during xp week once you have a character going which more likely than not is going to be your force because they require less to get started and to do well that your force will end up farming potentially good items so for example a lot of uh episode 4 ids like green and red and sometimes viridian but that's more of an event id can give you really strong items that rangers can use and then once your ranger has those that ability to get that you know that first cannon rouge that first heaven striker is such a big power jump for your ranger that it will literally be faster for you to farm it with your force than to try to brute force an item with your ranger to give to the force because i i think in particular atp scales very well in this game so any anything you could do to make your life easier at getting those things is probably better but trying to live without those weapons is kind of rough so hopefully that answered your question like, I like is kind of like a filler ID, where like a catch-all probably is Red Ring, probably has a lot of Ubers for late game. I think White ID is pretty solid. So if I if I had to like really hardcore limit it and I was not trading, it would probably be something like green slash red, purple, white, something like that. And if I plan on doing a lot of special events or like formal farming, I like Viridian for like the Christmas fiasco specifically. And they're still really good uh, Red Ring alternative, don't get me wrong, especially if you're going for LNK combats. But I'm not sure I would jump to those. And kind of like if you're focusing a hunter, like I think it's obligatory that eventually you'll have a Sky ID character at some point if you want Seal J Sword. Yeah, like I like, I like forces with Blue ID because they can very easily do respective tomorrow. But they're not necessarily the best at it in solo if that makes sense and then i love playing very hard mode with blue id in particular because they clear episode four so fast so if i want to get some like random items like ignition cloak or um additional photon crystals jaya's if i'm playing a hunter uh i will just happen to get those while playing very hard mode while leveling other players so there's definitely like what i'll call more of like the niche ids but honestly, with the way I play, those niche IDs sometimes get more love than the other IDs. So you'll not see me, for example, do a lot of orange and yellow. Not that there's anything necessarily quote unquote unusable about them. But yeah, you'll see me lean pretty heavy into the green, a little bit Viridian, purple, blue for episode two. Because I also potentially want like a parasitic gene flow. And I just like the combination of rares that are a blue ID. And plus it also is like a Psycho 1 hunt. So, hopefully that gave you some ideas. Yeah, like it depends. Like it, I think it would also take a look, for example, if you're looking for a kind of a solid ranger melee weapon uh, as an alternative to Excalibur, uh, b -b -b Daylight Scar is there. So check Daylight Scar IDs. Some hunt them very well. 
There's kind of other rares you could go for, like your Shur and Gurrens, for example. But they're... I don't know if I rate them as high even for Hunters. Like, they're, they're nice, but like... I don't think they're quite on the same scale of like game warping as like Heaven Striker is for a Ranger or, or their first Cannon Rouge. So I think those are just insanely big ones. Yeah, do you need them? No. Exactly. They're they're kind of the nice to haves. In the situations they're used, they're nice. But they're not gonna be like run defining. Like things like frozen shooter, potentially spread needle. Definitely Heaven Striker or Run Defining. Like, those weapons are so good that if you get, like, high hit on that, you are set for the entire game. And it's insane how strong it is. And that was something I didn't really know about, sadly, when I first started. So a lot of my characters were more like, oh, I wanted Ranger items, so I picked a Ranger ID. And, like, sometimes it worked out. Like, I did, I happened to do Purple ID on Raw Marl, And just, like, I happened to do Pink ID on a Force. Like... It, you know, it, it makes sense for the character for those IDs kinds of things. But I, I don't know if necessarily like my green IDs and red IDs made sense for the character kind of thing. Where sometimes I'll find that like, I really enjoy the Ranger clear in episode one with an ID, but I prefer, f but I prefer the same ID with the Force and others. Oh, look at that, I used my shortcut. Yeah, kind of like Fomoral. Fomoral, I just played literally ATP. <laughs> I don't think I could bowie with her at all. <laughs> I was like, listen, she's just gonna be she's just gonna be living her best life. Do whatever she wants. Rip all these enemies. Already level 61. So again, we're just getting more and more HP. Technically I could sub out the heavenly HP for another heavenly mine for more damage. We gotta get out in the middle. I don't think anything of interest dropped for me. I might just skip to the next area. And I'll pause in this menu for a little bit so chat has some time to collect items. So we'll take a little look as we wait for chat. Just so in case they need to back, sell, get items, whatever. Fifty-three minutes, level sixty-one. So we're still outpacing it a little bit. Okay, we're gonna log back in. So that's a little bit of a warning for chat to be ready. Uh, I do think the guides on Affinia are getting a little better. They're definitely better than they were like two years ago. Is that that inspired me to do some of the pauper guide stuff is because like literally nobody talked about like if you're doing self found oops if you're doing self found kind of stuff there's not really like a good guide for that but i think when it comes to the ultimate level gameplay i think they're a lot better like last year especially towards the tail end of last year uh they really started to fill in like the order of some of the items which I think was missing for getting your power buffs. We're still going to do a formal guide at some point, but I think we're going to wait for post-event. Yeah, because, like, the difference of, like, a character that hit level 80 that is willing to give up, like, 5 PDs compared to a player that is not willing to trade, the power difference of that 5 PD is insane. And that's not really a hard thing to achieve, going 1 to 80, especially on your own. And it's even less hard to do if you're already playing, like, things that would get you PDs in the first place. And he got a lot of casual players that do more wiki stuff than actually play recently. Yeah, well, I'm not going to call them casual, but I will agree they have more people on the wiki. I feel like last year was, like, night and day compared to two years ago. That I can firmly say. There were like, quests are generally more detailed. There's more information in the monster panels. Uh, we see a lot of the items have been corrected for basic stats and stuff like that. 
And even like the mini guides go into a lot more detail. Like, so, not all of them are completed. I think even as we speak, there's like two classes, for example, that just have a list of endgame items and nothing in between. Oh, do they have maps on quests? That That's the one that I'm looking for, for sure. I haven't looked up any that have it, but that would be nice if they started doing those. More of them? Nice, nice. But yeah, definitely it's like it's going in a positive direction overall, and definitely shoutouts to them. It, it definitely helps a bit. So from that standpoint, I just want to make sure, you know, if we put it in context of like power level order, I think like a couple of guides sort of have that now. Like I want to say Raw Marl, for example, is one of the guides that has more detail. But I think if you then look at like, I want to say it's like either Humar or Hugcast, it's like what to do in the early game blank section, <laughs> what to do in the late game all S ranks. Because I, I feel like that's the thing I want to make sure when we're done with this event. I want to make sure that players that are looking to get into PSO, when they see these like wall of S rank items, like, yeah, they're good, but I don't want them to like go in and assume that like you need like five different demon guns and arrests and everything else. Because I think I was laughing. I was trying to total up like how much the recommended items were for like ultimate. And they're like thousands of PDs because of how many S ranks there are kind of thing. So it was just kind of like, like they're good, don't get me wrong, but like there are things on your journey separately from that that would help with it a lot that aren't, ne they get kind of lost in that wall of items. Yeah, like if you start a challenge mode, that's good. I'm not going to say that, but you even have to put yourself in the, in the place of the new shoes of a user. So unless they're willing to just grind challenge mode to sell those items for PDs, which again, very valid strategy. You know, you need to build up the PDs to actually assign the specials to them. So, like, what are you hunting and what are you doing in the meantime? Those are the kinds of questions I want to make sure that, like, regardless of the play style, whether you touch challenge mode, whether you're a self-found player, that at least there's a resource that says, like, hey, I don't need V101 on every character if I could just pick up a cheap heavenly battle and it does, like, literally the same thing until, like, high levels. Like, it's not as a game... It, like v101 is good it's like one of the best units in the game but from the standpoint of making sure that you're able to do your job like would it make sense to have skipped you know your your basic charge vulcans your charge arms your heaven striker and all that stuff before getting the v101 and the answer is no it doesn't make sense kind of those those kinds of things i want to kind of point out and we'll we'll have a very open discussion about it because again it's very subjective and it's definitely interesting to see other takes on it. And in particular, if we have like alternatives, kind of like we have items that are like quote unquote power ups. Like an example would be like, magical piece is good. It gives 30% to Gafoe. Should that be the first item of four skits? No. <laughs> you know, like you could get away with fire scepters. You don't even have to pay for the fire scepters. Most IDs will end up getting the elemental wands, for example. Yeah, it's just kind of one of those things. Hmm. Two years, almost no magical piece. Like, again, it's like, those are optimizations, and those are things that are like, when you're done with the character, you got your core set. Like, those are the things I want to see, where people are like, oh, I want to squeeze that extra, oh, in some cases, literally 10%. But I want to squeeze out that little bit of damage. Like, Cycle Wand is really good, and I think it's something you should potentially hunt for at the end game. But I want to make sure there's players out there that aren't trying to hunt, you know, Lily without, like, at least a dress plate or maybe some cure paralysis. So talk a little bit about those things. Or maybe if you got a really good team, you could bypass it. And, you know, we leave it up to the discretion. We can give the recommendation and they can they can ignore it. <laughs> it all depends on the group of players. So, yeah, level 65. Pretty good. Another Heaven Striker quote. Congratulations. I'll do quit out to lobby to give the team more time to sell items. We'll do a time check. So it's like, I'm going to make sure when new players come in, I'm going to be answering those kinds of questions. And I'm going to try not to mislead. I'm going to try to make it honest. I know one I was kind of thinking back and forth upon that was like, where, where do you recommend they cap materials in the flow if you had a limited number of PDs? Like that I've been going back and forth on quite a bit. 
So those are the ones where definitely I, I would expect comments were like, oh no, you don't get power materials before blah, blah, blah. And that's fine. <laughs> Because I, I do want to see these other views, because I think ultimately that will shape up to be a more interesting discussion. And maybe we'll have follow-ups on some of those. We'll see. But yeah, I definitely want to see from like a mix of like seasoned veterans versus people that are like just starting characters. Because it's very interesting to see like what items like warp the game to them, quote unquote. I mean, for me, definitely like... I'm gonna be pushing that Gaboe merge. That thing is like so good. But like in terms of like climbing, getting your first three seals or something like that is pretty nice. You know, those are the kind of items you're not really gonna pay PDs for necessarily, but like they potentially help. Like I like to use three seals, for example, in Ultimate Forest because everything takes lightning damage. But like, am I gonna use it in every run? No. If I just want like a generically good armor and resist for doing other kinds of runs, I like three seals. Some people will just leave it on full times. And even if you get a, a magical piece or a psycho one, sometimes it's better to bare hand. Yeah, I'm going to make that joke again. You bet I'm going to tell you how to get the best weapon for, for male forces. I'm going to say just unequip. <laughs> just just unequip. It's easy. You are best in slot already. You'll need more buffs. <laughs> So that's, that's the kind of stuff we got to talk about. And you bet, Chan, I'm going to be pushing that Slicer Fanatic agenda. That item even zeroed is such a game changer in runs. It, more importantly, if you know how to do the Slicer glitch, it is an absolute game changer. Fantastic even in the quest we're doing here. Like you can see we're running basically almost hyper optimized i there's not too much i can really do to go more powerful than i am at my level like i guess i technically could have given up the 10 luck materials for 10 mind materials whatever but like from the standpoint of like coming in with your v801 add ups and heavenly minds just to boost damage or god techniques depending on how much mst you have like those are the kinds of things we'll talk about where like okay you're done with the character what would help so we'll try to separate like the four versus the nice to haves versus like the true late game because sometimes as i said before you just need like a weapon to get started so it's like it's not fun to do boss rushes for example if you don't have like a really good single target weapon or like a multi-hit for like certain bosses like it's like night and day doing like even just like Worm Boss, if you have like Excalibur or like a really high hit Jaya with money compared to a character that's just using like Red Partisan or something like that. Like those are like run definingly good. They save so much time and or skip phases because they're just that good. Dango says, that was one of the biggest things I struggled with when I started to play. I know what's good, but there's always a gap of what you need, want versus need. Yeah, exactly. Because I feel like, again, like, it's, the wiki is doing exactly what it should be. It should be an open encyclopedia of items. If you have questions about, like, what is on the monster drops, or, like, monster stats, or even just, like, monster counts in quests, it's a really great resource. They're slowly making it to kind of answer more subjective questions versus other ones. <laughs> yeah, like you need gold Milla. Like, exactly. Like, there's uber rares in the game, but like, are you going to recommend new players? Like, hold on. Before you leave Forest, you have to get Heaven Punisher Blue ID. Right? Like, <laughs> it's got to be careful. Because sometimes when you see those guides, if they don't put it in an order, it gets kind of insane if you take the list literally. Yeah. If they're like, here's your single target, your AoE, and here's like seven S ranks, and then uh, we'll we'll only list a couple armors and shields. Oh yeah, that was the other thing that I thought was weird. Some of some of the armor and shield recommendations I feel are like really lacking some of the in between options, like the quick pickups. Most of them are good, but there's a couple where it's like your shield options are like stealth sh stealth suit equivalency. Red Ring Ranger Wall equivalencies and like they're good, don't get me wrong. But when it's like that for like non Rangers, it's kind of weird. You're like, what? I'm like, what do you do before Red Ring on some of the hunters? So you can mention a little bit things like the Zombie Bracer if you want. Oh, there's a Heaven Striker code. 
<laughs> cry, cry before red ring. That's true. Yeah, it's just like some things they might pick up. And again, we're we're gonna we're gonna put it like an asterisk. Like you should not hardcore hunt for it. But if you happen to be doing it, might get an upgrade, maybe. And that's likely to happen. For example, if you're playing, uh, let's say hypothetically, red ID TTF. Kasami Bracers, I think, drop from Sinnoh Blue, like your hypothetical scenario. And we'll mention things like that. Like, you might pick it up there. But, like, it's not something you should go and, like, hardcore hunt. But we also have to be aware that a lot of the time, some of these items can end up in the, uh, like, the gambles or Christmas presents. So sometimes, like, just because it's, like, quote-unquote a hard hunt doesn't mean sometimes we shouldn't mention it. So that's where we have to kind of, like, double-check and back through and put those little things where they're, like, nice to have, so if you pick them up kind of things. Like, I like to always have an Arrest 1 DS whenever I play a Force, not because I think it helps me do damage. It's so I can skip, like, eight levels <laughs> of MSD and basically learn everything at once. Those kinds of things. Like, that's that's when you're done with the character, you're looking to optimize. We talk about those, like, niche items. We'll, we'll put them in there. So hopefully, we'll have a nice list. And we'll figure out a good day to kind of debate those topics. But yeah, it, it did take me quite a long time to go through. Because again, there's a lot of items in PSO. Most of them are not great. But from that standpoint, you know, prioritizing is, like... I really have to sit there and think about it, especially, you know, in terms of like PDs or like alternate means of getting it. And so some of them will move a little higher or lower on the list kind of thing. And, you know, at the end of the day, who knows, there could be a big chart update at the end of the year and then the guide is irrelevant. <laughs> but at least we could talk about why those items may or may not be important. I think I'm good with items here. I don't think I need... Well, I guess I could leave Soul Atomizer here. Let's get rid of Mono Fluids. I think I need those. I could put another Escape Doll. I'll quit out. Whatever. Chad will figure it out. So I'm going to quickly run and put away the Heaven Striker. Yeah, especially if you're, like, a new player, too. Like, you won't know what kind of items to kind of look up. So a lot of the times it'll be, like, you know, oh, high ATP item. It has to be good. But then, like, it has no special. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So, you know, we have to give some guidance with it. We're hopefully going to educate enough that people can make their own decisions from there, and then they can wave their finger and go, this is nonsense because blah blah blah. And then, you know, maybe we make amendments to the gods. Shall we go to the medical room? Oh my gosh. I haven't been there in eons. Back in the GameCube days, I remember going there a lot, getting killed randomly in Ultimate with under-leveled stuff. Right now, it's like, nah. <laughs> We're not going to visit them. We're good. Ooh, we're doing super good. About an hour, 30 minutes in total. Oops, I can't menu. We're already 68. Again, keep in mind, some of that was not spent on this character. <laughs> or some of it was just literally designing the character. <laughs> so I'm curious how much in-game time it'll take. But I imagine in like five cookies will be done. Nice level ups. Maybe six. A lot of time, extra time on this one, putting escapes in the bank. Yeah, that's fair. You put 200 escapes in there? Holy. That is a lot of escape dolls. El Cleave is like, thou shall receive my bounty. Be blessed with eternal life. Want some? I'm good. Uh, we'll collect them as we go. I think I'm, I'm holding two currently. Not that I need them anymore, because I'm past the point that I'll realistically die. So again, if I wanted to minor optimization here, I'd probably sub out... Um, 
one of our things, Heavenly HPs for Heavenly Mind. Just to maybe hit a damage threshold. Most of my techniques are level 29 already. If I was using 27, Scott Technique would have been better. I'm still like 300 under the max, so MST is okay here. So yeah, double adept has basically basically stopped us from needing to use any tri-fluids. I still have not used any, by the way, if chat has been keeping track. I'm level 69, no fluids used ever so far in this run. Just to give you the power of the adept, of not needing to go back to the shop or micromanage. Nice indeed. We're almost level 70. Oh, I think the music paused. We'll fix that in a moment. I meant to do that when we were in the downtime earlier to prevent that from happening. Ooh, I'm getting bodied. Good thing I have a uh, rest of there. Sadly, I need to stack so much Kafoe that I don't really have a good opportunity to do anything other than do this. Other than having striking striker coat, nice. We debuff, so I don't take massive damage. So 500 HP, pretty good. I think I could take a small break here. Fix the song. Yeah, back to Fireball. Level 70 and rising. I'm contemplating if I want to quit out when I hit level 80 just to do the time check. I might give some courtesy kills if we're not close. Just to give it another minute. Because I'm curious what minimum time we'll have. <laughs> we're making good time. I think I think in like the next 40 minutes the run will be done. I don't think we need that much more time. Especially when stuff like that happens. They just explode. Like we're already level 70. We're averaging about... I know the last four levels are going to be much slower than the others because the XP scaling. But we're already going to hit 71 in this mission. From 68. So we're looking pretty good here. Yeah, if anybody has any questions or comments, just let us know. You can say things like, man, that XP is disgusting. It's all fine. It is truly disgusting. Ooh, I got bodied. <laughs> truly, says chat. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, let's get out of here. Level 71. 71, a little bit of change. 44% through the level. I guess I could pick up the power material in my material. Uh, there's so many items. Okay. We'll quit out. We'll do a quick little time check. Give chat a moment to sell items. I feel like that's a good stall tactic. Because normally Slash Lobby is real time faster, but it's not game clock faster. Gotta think about it that way. Because I would have to wait for the team either way. Hour 30 to 13 minutes, so... Ooh, we finally spent more minutes than, uh... Spent more minutes than level, sadly. So right there, we started to fall behind. So yeah, probably be like another 20 in-game minutes, maybe 25. It'll be pretty fast. I don't remember what our record was from last year. It's like an hour 30 or something. We'll be pretty close to that. Having another higher level force did help a lot. Yeah. That's fine. It is... We could say we did one where it's all low levels. We could say that made a difference. It was 117. Ooh, wow. Yeah, that was fast. That's fine. Yeah, without a lot of Gavoe stacking. If it was like three forces, one cast, it would be over. I don't think we would even see the enemy. 
<laughs> just feel like GG every time we load in. But it's okay. We could showcase how strong it is there. One demon's Rescafoe, exactly. <laughs> Why do you even grants? There's no way that enemy was living long enough. Lots of Heaven Striker codes for help with you, potentially. Oops, with uh, Mag Creation. And that opens up a lot of fun things to do with Raw Marl, which I will say made me enjoy Episode 4 a lot more when I discovered that Heaven Striker combo with the Mag. Discovered that it was good versus that it existed, which is a very different statement of things. Nice. Nice level up again. So it's, yeah, I, I don't think I can menu better for Gafoe because we're already doing it frame buffering and everything. I mean, technically I could go in the other tech menu as well, but I think chat prefers to see the full screen versus a zoomed in screen. we set up all of our items on the other page so this character is actually set up correctly so i could just immediately play them in ultimate so i think this is the first time while leveling a character i put almost every single command correctly with the only exception being Razan because i didn't have it but i needed lightning and we already fixed that so there's an easy change otherwise this character as is could go straight to ultimate and i guess if the team wants we could then try an ultimate run but i'm sure it'll be monstrously difficult with fresh characters. Do some zaps. Yeah, zapping time. Yeah, I hear Gertabulu. So yeah, maybe I'll do an orange force in the future. I don't want to do another one today. One, one is enough in a day. Nice, I'm going to level from this. these enemies. See, so yeah, a team's slowly getting more and more accurate, which helps them. Do a couple of grants this year. Actually, you know what? We'll stack a Foey. Team's got this. I believe in your team. <laughs> Thought about bartering him for the kill. Rip the Marissa's. I like that almost all of them died instantly. It was nice. And they not a lot of rare rappies. Alliance uniform. Nah. If it had slots, I would have maybe worn it, because it would have been funny. Nah, I'm not gonna bother with that. I'll pick up that mine material though. Ven egg, nice. Level 74, excellent. Bodied. Zero damage slowly adding up, which is kind of nice. Okay, penultimate wave. Let's get out of here. Rip the Gerda Bulus. Another Heaven Striker coat. That's kind of the nice thing. If we never put away our materials, even if we're capped on inventory space, we just start stacking them. So I've just learned to just give up and not bother putting stuff away when I'm done. I'm just, I'm gonna end up holding so many items anyway. 
give chat a moment or so. Save the in-game time by resetting the menu. That way they have more time to gather items. Nice little stall tactic there. Let's do a time check. We just hit 74. At the 1 hour 19 minute mark. Not bad. So yeah, we're probably within 4 cookies. Although that last level up, we'll see. So we're still getting about 2 levels of cookie. There we go. That was a good stall. <laughs> Ultimate, I wish. Could you imagine if they allowed anguish on lower difficulties? How funny that would have been. Game would be so broken. <laughs> Normal mode anguish 10, let's go. We're going in. <laughs> What's leveling? Yeah, pretty much. How many cookies do I have left? 20. Gotta step away for a second. Okay. Biggie will help keep you alive. I'm just gonna sack Gafoe and hope that's good enough. So far, it's working. Operation Decoy is, is working. There we go. Dango's faith is <laughs> so far proving to be worth placing. Do not let him down. There we go. Dango winning by doing nothing. Like the Waluigi thing. Okay. The force will carry. If I AFK, that's a problem for sure. Be like, this, this Foey David just said AFK Arena? Yeah, pretty much. I think he'll get slightly less XP for not hitting and killing. That's fine. Still nice XP either way. Yeah, we'll, we'll feel the speed loss, mostly with the Gurdabulu. No worries, Dango. We managed to not kill you. <laughs> Slash get you killed. We did it, yay! Full time drop, nice. Monstrous Kafoe spam, level 75 and rising. I'm likely gonna level at least one more time in this quest. Oh, God, buddy. Okay, so at least no... So far, no cookies have been sent to the void. We didn't complete all the cookie quests, but at least we didn't accidentally do one on, like, normal when we need to be very hard or something. Rip that one cookie. Well, I want that photon drop for sure. No, it's sad chat. All these fireballs. I need more adips. <laughs> I'm contemplating if I want to just straight up purchase them at this point. My luck with them is like actually horrendous. Like I think when we start going onto the I haven't seen them in two years category while playing pink ID from level 140 to almost 200 in uh, desert, it's kind of a problem. On top of all the other pink ID characters I've made, including that other Phonuman. And the Pink Ranger. One day, chat. We'll be freed. Rip Pink Ranger. Get rid of these. One day. Oh, and Viridian. Because I, I did a Christmas fiasco with him. It was so good. Wow, those Rappies were like instant XP. So if I stand in the right spot, none of them retreat. 
And because of our fast cast stacking, it means that they could die instantly. So this is good. So we're already at the point where we just legit clean house. So not quite as crazy rewards as doing this with blue ID. But sometimes you just gotta level chat. Doesn't matter how you get there. This is what XP week is all about. <laughs> Witness the power of the XP. 340 XP a second. You got XP trackers of your own. Compare it to this XP right now. And tell me what quests you were doing if you got higher. If, <laughs> Honestly, the quest XP is insane. Rip everything here. Oh, penultimate wave. Ooh, almost died. See that? We have enough HP and defense to survive a non-debuff Goron detonator. We're in a good spot now. I think that was a crit from him, specifically. Because that did so much damage. So lower both of them. Zappy Zap. We just Zappy Zap for stunlocks. Grants. GG. Let's go ahead and take that photon drop. So we have four more levels to go. Oh, I can't pick up a photon drop? Why is that... Uh, star atomizers. Ew. Not on the floor. And the mine material, I think, is right here. Oh, no. It's... <laughs> Never mind, it's back over there. I baited myself. So we'll quit out, do a time check, give team a moment or so to collect themselves. See chat time check. One hour twenty five minutes. Not bad. Yeah, those early, early levels are so silly. <laughs> we outpaced the clock until low sixties. Then the last little hump is oof brutal. I'm gonna type in the game name. Give team a little moment to catch up. So again, thanks to Double Adept, we've still not used a single tri-fluid. By the way, team, we haven't used a monofluid, a difluid, or a tri-fluid. Thanks to the power leveling and the power of Rappy Double Adept. What a broken combo. And now we have enough roll base TP that even if it goes a bit longer, it shouldn't really matter. And again, if I was a little concerned about TP, I could bring in Heavenly Mind for just a little extra TP and then damage. We're still using basic frame, which is hilarious. <laughs> Our armor does not matter. Just equip four slot win game. It'll matter more once we get to ultimate, of course. But right now, we're going to enjoy that level 77. Evan Striker Code, congratulations. <laughs> These might fuel future Hellcleave requests if he's making mags. Be like, Hellcleave, I need a Max Ramar and Max Ramar all Heaven Striker. Rid of these. Double zaps. Acting of Foey. Not bad at all. <laughs> just, just look at the melt. Like, they just stand no chance. So again, our chip damage with Gafoe is just going up higher and higher. So even if, you know, we're one-shotting the other group already, the other enemies are taking more per Gafoe. So even just our overall assistant, consistent damage just going up. It's kind of nice. I was going to grant the Gurdabulu, but I already knew by the time I thought about it, the Gurdabulu was dead. I had faith in the team on that one. I was like, he's got 8,000 health, but by the time I finish explaining it, he's already going to be dead. So I'm just going to go Bowie again, rather than waste time grancing. I got reduced to 429, but I don't need to heal. Well, now I definitely don't need to heal. I just leveled. That works. Debuff time. Oh, barely got the debuff out in time. Thank you for the heal. I'm getting bullied. I'm gonna resound a couple times. 
what they get for trying to bully me. We're doing over 600 per fireball now, which is kind of nice. Which means I only need three stack of foes right now to kill a Rappi. Because they have about 1620 HP. So it's nice going from 500 to 600. Start hitting more important thresholds. I was definitely worried I was going to die there, I'm not going to lie. With these enemies, dice both on drops. Nicely done. Oh. Well, actually, no, I'm not going to hit 80 on this one, I don't think. We are getting a lot more XP than I was expecting, but... I think I'll be just shy. Like I'm, def I'm definitely going to level before the quest ends. I just don't think I'll hit 80. Sack a rappy damage here. You okay, see, they're at 1670. So having more than 550 is kind of nice. That's where our damage matters for XP. Getting a little lower on EP. Then stuff like that will happen. Uh oh, Chad, am I gonna have to use my first tri fluid? No, never mind. <laughs> never mind, the TP restore popped up. Yeah, sadly, I'm gonna be a little shy. Rip these enemies. Look how close I am to hitting level 80. That's such a heartbreaker. I'm like maybe three waves from leveling. So close. Alright. So what we're gonna do... I pick these up. Pick up the materials. So many luck materials. Um... Like just said, I got more luck materials today doing this quest than uh, all week. I'd like to throw it out there. Very fair amount. Um, defense materials probably good. I'm gonna go ahead and quit out. Give the team a moment or so to re recollect themselves. Take one last look at the timer. I could exit mid run. I might as well just finish it for the team. We'll we'll finish for the team because I don't think we're gonna beat the other record, but. We'll, we'll count down together, chat. Well, I have a little timer. <laughs> so we're at one hour and 30 minutes exactly. Okay. So I, I left it 1.53. I think the moment this loads, I will be in the game. So 1.53.10. We'll see how many minutes from there from 1.53.10. Oops. <laughs> Almost input a random game name. That would have confused the team. Like, what is this gibberish? What's was <laughs> Nice. So, final cookie for me. Might need another cookie for the group. Gafoe kill steal so hard. Thank you, kill steal Foey. Uh oh. There we go. Bound Tiggy. So yeah, it's definitely gonna be sub two hours. I think it's gonna be like an hour forty, so I think that's still gonna be true. So we'll do some rough math. Should be good enough. We'll complete the run, I think, with the team just to help them level. Or so just greed for the, the exact time. Right now we're at 154.20, so it's been about a minute on this character. Not too bad. So from 1 minute 30, we could just roughly estimate how long it took. Kind of a clean place to stop, honestly. Makes it easier for calculations. 
So we are one big wave away from leveling. These level these waves are too small though. Nice meta. Yeah, this will put us pretty close. For example. Very satisfying, very hard gameplay. You like the murder? Welcome, Clock Tower Joe. Oh, Magua dropped. And almost time, chat. Almost time. So that was 155, 20. So that was. About three minutes, so an hour, 33 minutes. I'll, I'll complete it for the team. We'll keep going for the team. If everyone's doing well, I think we're doing well. So we're, we're gonna pen that in. We, we can even round it up. We can say it's an hour, 35. Let's say I miscounted. But about, about an hour, 35. So let's see how close we get the rest of the team. Diggy pulling up ahead in XP. Dangotron not too far off. Yeah, not bad. GG. I got bodied. <laughs> Want that event, event egg eventually. Let's go grab it now. See, if I never leave the center, I'm in the perfect spot for all the Rappies. And speaking of which, where are the rare Rappies? So we'll say time, approximately an hour 35. Not bad. The rest of the team should gain about a level. We're about halfway in the quest. I think he's very likely to hit 80 here. I'm not sure about Dango. Dango might also be close. Yeah, I figure rather than leave them... Because we're so early in the wave, it didn't make sense to leave the team. If it was like two waves for completion, I'd be like, team, you're on your own, bye. <laughs> but like, but that this early in... Nah, it doesn't make sense. We gotta help. Thought about it, though. So sadly, we might have to use Trifluid for the first time. We're getting close. We need a big damage wave here. Come on, there we go. Ooh, barely, barely getting by. Goodbye, Rappies. So we did not need a single fluid this run. Good to know. Even without the super strong force carrying. It's pretty silly. Congratulations, Tiggy, on hitting level 80. And a little bit more of the quest to go. So, Helcleave might hit it? Dango just hit 79, so not likely for Dango to hit 80 here. Be close. Helcleave will be very close, I think. If he doesn't level. Because he's had several waves now of pure XP. And this last group is worth quite a bit. Not bad. So I'll go collect this. We'll take a look at the official time now that we're done with this. I think we'll not use an egg for the last level, but we could just do like a Beyond the Horizon, which is funny. <laughs> just to complete their levels, because why not? Uh, Yeah, that should be good enough. Okay, so let's see with the quest done what our timer is. So how long did it take for us to hit 81? We should be about an hour 35 from clear. We only added like another six minutes from there, so it should be like an hour 40 something on the timer. Oh, wait, how does that work? How does the timer work? How? Wait, no. <laughs> huh, it must not have started at the same time. Interesting. I don't- yeah, how does timer? Wait. 
<laughs> Wait, I only counted when I was in the lobby. I know we were teleporting around a little bit, but like, that was... Interesting. Okay. It lost a minute or so. What? Whatever. We're not going to think about it. We're not going to think about it. <laughs> World record? No. I, Valentine definitely got it. Valentine had like an hour 10 or something. It was so stupid. Hopefully it thinks it an hour 16. But that was pretty good for a group of level, basically level ones. So from taking, from being the main damage carry, that's the fastest I've ever done it. Uh, we'll go ahead and do one more for the team just to make sure that they hit it. We'll just do Beyond the Horizon. I don't think it makes sense to burn a cookie for one level since we're no longer caring about the timer, but at least we can be semi-efficient. And it's beyond the horizon. Beyond the horizon's broken anyway. <laughs> it shouldn't take long. We'll save that cookie. It is better used as an ultimate or another level up. So I'm going to put away the cookies. I'm going to make sure that I have money for the quest. And I think we're good. So we are, we're down to 18 cookies, but we still have a lot from before. So we got two, I think, from Hellcleave. We see Del Raffi. I doubt it. I mean, even if we do, I feel like the game hates us, so it's fine. I'll just pretend the game will never drop it anyway. That's how I'll reconcile with that fact. I'm going to carry money on me. And then I'll, I'll put away Angie Fist because it's funny. Yeah, let's do Beyond the Horizon just to get them there the fastest. Technically, we could do Massive Attack B, but... Nah, it's, it's too long. <laughs> let's do a quick little VR. It would be funny if we did this and it was like... If we see... I want to see us do this one time and to punish us, we get like double Pazuzu. That would blow my mind in non-rare enemy week. <laughs> I would actually lose it. <laughs> there would be a controller chucked. <laughs> the one, prob not the one I'm using, though. <laughs> I'm like, sc screw this RNG. Oh, man. So anyway, I got money, so we're just gonna go... We're gonna go pay to win. The old classic pay to win. Goodbye, 30,000 Masetta. I almost earned a 30,000 Masetta without selling anything on this character. Got close. He was at 28k. Seen more rare enemies than me that is rare enemy week. As I said before, rare enemy week is a lie. It's there to build hope and then crush it. Just <laughs> the time you've been watching. I don't even think you saw the double Marissa's either. It's very silly. The team shouldn't need too much XP here. So I'm imagining by the end of the first room, the level, but we'll see. Oh, I got bodied. Oh, I gotta be careful, because if I do die, I get booted. We're still averaging like 117 XP a second. It's like we're playing ultimate. See that? It's like we're doing TTF and Ultimate right now for XP. Checks out. There's so many wands, just so many spells being slung. I'm gonna use Rivarda here. And cast has reached level 200. Congratulations. I hit level 82. It's kind of funny. I like that my lingering Apoe was so long that even while knocked down and then me walking forward and then casting, I still had so many that it died. That seems fair. So I should have more than enough to survive Dorfon. I have 571. So I definitely have no fear right now. Diggy, or Hulk Eve almost having 66 HP. So close. Look at this beautiful XP. And sadly, this is probably what we would be doing to just to get XP to go into ultimate anyway. 
Like before we're like truly ready to do ultimate because we don't have enough HP. Like this would be the quest we would do. If I don't want items, that is. Wow. Okay. So hopefully by the time we hit caves, they'll level. Because usually you need about like 40,000 most, yeah. Hopefully fit 80. That's just down to Dango. Hopefully we could quit at caverns. We'll we'll clear up to caverns. I don't feel unless you really feel like doing the whole quest. I'll leave it up to the team. I mean I guess more XP is not the worst. Just more of a boring trek. Yeah. Elkleave's good, that's fair. Uh I mean, I'm going to keep killing this because at least the XP is decent, but the moment it goes to caves, I'm out. Caves can keep what it was. Caves ruins that quest. It's so sad. Like, this, these first two waves are so insane. Like, the room waves, and then it's like, you get to caves, and it's like, yeah, we're just going to put them on opposite sides. Oh, rip Dango. Dango got booted from Crest. Rip. At least he hit 80. That's the important thing. He died after he hit 80. <laughs> so we'll just keep going until the end. So I need a lot of HP. So either I eat HP materials or I just level here. Let's get a little a couple levels here. The 571 doesn't help me. I need like 300 HP-ish. Oh, there's the Delrapi. That's for Hellcleave. There we go. Now we can say we saw the Delrapi. That's for Hellcleave right there. Oh, he's worth 900 XP. <laughs> the troll. Yeah, exactly. Nice XP. I mean, I paid the 30,000. I'm at least gonna get, like... <laughs> I'm gonna at least maybe level again. Uh oh, chat. I'm running out of TP. I'm gonna have to do it, chat. There we go. I use my first try fluid. <laughs> Level 82 in the arena. That sealed J sword damage though was quite something. It's okay. I the way as I said before, the way I picture it, the game is not going to give me the rare drop anyway. It's like a one in sixteen. That's all good. The game just net me more XP. That's how I view it. <laughs> it's like it's slapped. A oh, sphering would be more dumb for low leveling. Mm. Get rid of the oh, the babudos. No, my nemesis, get away from me! Yeah, I do like that. I was playing off stream with Pris, and we got like mill lilies. I got like the red slimes, all on ex like rare item week, but not rare enemy week. Sadly, no red ID, red slime. That would have been good. What I was hoping for, but alas. <laughs> yeah, during rare enemy week, I just did TTF. Like, take that rare enemy week. I technically benefit from it if it shows up, but if not, it doesn't matter. I'm doing TTF. Checkmate. You can't make me upset if I'm not going for your main hunt anyway. Ooh, what a quest. So we'll probably pause the video after this, because now we officially have everybody at 80. Oh, there we go. I've been booted from the quest. Unfortunately, you failed. That's fine. Rip me. So we'll quit out. We'll give a little signed off to YouTube. And I guess we could technically play a little bit more after this. But for now, let's uh let's formally conclude the leveling. Since we got everybody to 80, we did a little more of the quest, a little bonus content. Hour and 45 minutes at 83. But anyway, let's go ahead and say goodbye to YouTube. So hopefully you enjoyed the power leveling of Boy Donna, the new yellow ID character. I think next time we'll make an orange ID so we have all the hot colors on one of the banks. But for now, 
Uh, thank you for watching, and hopefully see you again in the next PSO part.